So CLL, SLL, this is always a confusing concept uh, when you're meeting a patient and they have a new diagnosis and we kind of are using the terms interchangeably and trying to explain that this is a spectrum of disease. And they say, do I wait, do I have lymphoma? Do I have leukemia? What is this? So uh, patients with SLL are generally included, of course, on CLL trials, but uh, are almost always the minority. Um, there, there's few of them. Uh, this was an initial step in a larger scale pro uh, project that, that we're working on. Um, Sam Kosadar, Dr. Kosadar, one of the medicine residents who led this with me, uh, looking essentially at disease by compartment, because we all understand that CLL, SLL is a disease spectrum, and even if we extend that to MBL, just an earlier uh, entity of the same disease spectrum. If you have one of those cells, it's the same. It's just where are they kind of favoring being. SLL being the nodal predominant version of this disease, and uh, and then now us seeing that some patients will have leukemic uh, peripheral blood progression or nodal progression or more disease progression in the marrow presenting with cytopenias. We kind of started by trying to better understand what are the treatment outcomes, what are the indications for therapy, and what are the treatment outcomes in a node predominant, node or splenic SLL uh, presentation of the disease. Most of these patients were treated for that indication, symptomatic lymphadenopathy or splenomegaly. There were some patients who received treatment due to the things that patients with a CLL type presentation do as well, like autoimmune cytopenia or a perineoplastic type uh, phenomenon. Um, and then amongst the patients who had symptomatic splenomegaly or, uh, or lymphadenopathy, the patients who received targeted agents did very well, and actually so did the, the patients really who had a, a chemoimmunotherapy base. Our next step will be kind of breaking that out and see if someone is coming in and they have lymphadenopathy as their main presentation, are they better suited to a BTKI approach that is better uh, that better clears that compartment, whereas somebody who has more of a marrow, uh, you know, a packed marrow and low counts and all of this may be better cleared by a BCL2 inhibitor base. This is speculative, but this is where this is heading to better understand the disease by compartment, both at presentation and when the disease relapses on these agents.